Well, education is so incredibly important. Obviously, the last few years during this pandemic, it's not been easy for school districts around the country and around Texas. But a local district, Southside ISD, they've gone from one of the lowest performing school districts to now one of the highest ranked. So joining us in today's leading essay segment is Rolando Ramirez, Southside ISD superintendent. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us and happy Father's Day. Well, good morning. And on behalf of Southside ISD community, thank you for having me. So break it all down for us. You know, what are these metrics that show this huge improvement you guys have seen? So, um, you know, we're, we're very proud of what our students and staff were able to accomplish. All districts are evaluated by the state uh, through three domains, student achievement, uh, school progress, and closing the gaps. So our district was able to do very well on school progress, uh, which led to a 30 point gain and our previously F-rated campuses, with 87 being our lowest campus rating with those F-rated campuses, and our district rating being an 87. So they did an amazing job. So you joined the district in 2020, and at the time you said you believe Southside ISD could become an A-rated district. So what has that progress or journey looked like? So I think uh, with school improvement, uh, student progress, in the best of times, it's very difficult. But these last two years, it's been very challenging. Uh, last year with the, the COVID pandemic, with 60% of our students joining remotely, 40% in, in person, uh, the ones joining remotely, we struggled with internet connectivity because here at Southside, we don't have the internet infrastructure. With the students that were attending in person, well, you know, unfortunately, some would get sick, uh, staff as well. Uh, some had COVID exposures, so they'd be out. Uh, so our attendance was very low. But our students and staff, you know, met the challenge, uh, overcame every obstacle that they confronted, and we never made excuses. So they had that mindset, and and uh, you know, thank God that we were able to do well. Oh, you talked about kind of that digital divide. What does this progress mean? You know, actually seeing the results of working harder. What have you seen from these students, from these families? What impact do you think it could have not only in school, but at home and for these futures? Well, you know, a solid foundation has been set. So I think that we only grow from here. So, uh, you know, we, we at, at Southside want to make sure that our students are career and uh, college ready. And I think that, uh, you know, every year from now on, you know, shooting for that A rating and having that improvement and ensuring that the future of our students after they leave Southside is brighter than the future that they currently have right now. So we're very excited of the great things that are happening here at the district. Now, going into the next school year, has the community or parents reached out? I know school security is kind of in the front of everyone's minds in the wake of uh, the massacre at Uvalde. Um, has there been any steps taken to, to, to make sure that y'all security system is strong and in place? Yes, you know, uh, this has been a complete team effort. Uh, the community is very supportive. Uh, we have uh, like uh, Kim's Angels, Ms. Kim Rapier Barrett and Glenn Barrett, uh, Dr. Yolanda Valenzuela, uh, our parents, uh, our board of trustees, everybody working as a team to make sure that that student progress is there. As far as the safety and security of our students, that's our, our, our biggest priority. And, you know, we have uh, you know, security guards uh, at, at uh, in guard shacks at every campus, we have a phones that, you know, people need to be buzzed in before they come in. Uh, we have the Raptor system that does the background check on all, all the uh, visitors to the district. We have a police officer and an armed security guard at every single campus. Uh, there's only one entry and exit to every campus. So, you know, coming together, I know that we, uh, the safety and security can always improve, but working together, we can make sure that our students and staff are safe. All right, Ms. Ramirez, thank you so much and congratulations for all that you've done and uh, can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you so much for having me and happy Father's Day. Thank you. And if anyone wants to watch the full interview, that obviously will be on ksat.com 13.